Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to LitCode. In this video, we are going to learn about the HTTP authentication and how to handle that with the help of Playwright Java. It's going to be very simple. So let me give you a glimpse of like what is HTTP authentication. So in our previous video, we learned the alert, right? So in alert, we have discussed like there are three types of alert. One is the simple prompt and the confirm. But apart from that, in most of the interview, we will face these questions like whenever there is a there is an alert with username and password how do we handle that so that particular thing is not an alert for example if i click on this basic auth if i click on this here you can see like it asking for the username and the password so if i give cancel then of course it will say like not authorized if i give the correct credential like the username and password then of course it will say like basic auth and congratulations some message right so this is known as basic authentication or also known as http authentication so let us see how to handle this it's going to be very very simple so let me start with the playwright dot create function and that's going to return the playwright instance now from there i can say like play playwright dot chromium dot new sorry dot launch and if you want to launch this in headless mode uh, we can use the browser type or else we can skip that now here the launch function is going to return the browser right so from the browser we always say like new page right so that will give me the instance of the page but to handle the authentication we have to set in the context so here i'm going to say like new context we'll talk about the context more in detail in our upcoming videos for now remember the HTTP authentication should be set within the new context and within the new context method we have to pass like new browser dot new context option then for by we have to set like set HTTP credentials and here I have to give my username that's going to be admin and then for by the password so here i'll say like admin which is my username and password and that's it we have to enclose this with a bracket now what can i do is from the context i can launch like new page and that will return me the page so now i'm going to navigate to my site that is page.navigate and then followed by the url so let's go and give this url and if the credential is correct and we have set the http credentials then we can see like this right so let's go and do the sysout statement for now so here we can see like we have a s3 so i'm just going to grab the text i can directly use the sysout and the text and of course await is not required here okay now I'm going to close the browser as well. So playwright.close that should close my browser. Let's go and run this now. Let's see what happens. So here we can see like we got this base authentication. Since we are running in the headless mode, we are not able to see the UI, but you got the idea. Just in case if I like give the credential wrong, let's see what happens. Okay, so we got an exception because like here we can see like we are waiting for the locator s3 but of course the the http credential is wrong here so definitely it won't be logged in and we won't be able to see this particular locator okay that's why we have end up with an exception so this is how we can achieve the um, http credentials with the help of playwright so that's it for this video. If you have any queries, feel free to ask me in the comments. I will see you in the next one very soon. Tada, bye bye. Take care.